Welcome back to the Realm of Unpopular Opinions. My previous intro got lost, so I'm recording a new one, and this video is going to be the worst books that I read in 2020. I am so excited for this because I love talking negatively, if you haven't noticed, because it's more often than not that I dislike a book than love it. And obviously don't get offended because this is all subjective and we all have our own opinions, but I will be going hard because... I have very strong opinions, so I hope you definitely enjoy, and if some of these are your favorites, then I really am sorry. I understand, because whenever someone trash talks my favorite, I literally can't watch the video. So for those who don't care, or for the strong of heart, have fun. I may or may not absolutely lose my shit because this clip is just black for some reason and I was about to upload it, so I am redoing it now. And the video is going up later, which I cannot believe I'm forced to do. I have a lot of crap to do for university. So I lost the first clip where I talk about <laughs> the worst books of the year and my DNFs. And the worst book first that I'm going to talk about is Lady of the Lake by Andrzej Sapkowski. That book was more of a disappointment than it was really bad because it was... Basically, he gets you used to his fun and not taking anything seriously, but also kind of deep style. And in the last book, he just throws in something new and throws out any emotional development out the window, basically laughs in your face if you cared about any of his characters. And he's literally like, oh, yeah, everyone's dead and you shouldn't care about any of this because the entire thing is a joke and you kind of feel a bit insulted. I got the sense that he didn't want to write a serious series and they wanted the finale so he just threw that out and wrote the last book which is fun again but I still think it didn't have to exist because it was literally disgusting to read, it was insulting, emotionally draining and it's the longest of the series so... <laughs> If you're ever going to read the Witcher series, just skip Lady of the Lake because frankly it was an insult to anyone who was reading that book. So please don't do not do that to yourself. That's the best advice that I can give you because the rest of the series is incredible. I have no idea what happened with that book. If he didn't want to write it, he just should have just said so. And now my DNFs. I DNF'd three books this year. I don't normally DNF unless it's from the library, which is very rare. Because when I pay for books, I sort of feel obligated <laughs> to read them because money has been spent. But the first book is The Cerulean. I got that for my birthday, so I didn't spend my money on it, but I still felt kind of bad when I couldn't get past page 100. The characters were so boring, the setting was so boring, the writing was awful, just <laughs> I couldn't even... I can't believe I read that much. The next DNF was, I think, Nancy Boys by Neil Gaiman. And I had like a book club thing that we founded, me and a couple of other people, at the end of high school because we were in quarantine and we were seniors and we were very bored. So we read two books and I DNF'd both of them and so did they. We read Nancy Boys, so I got that from the library so I didn't feel too bad. I think 120, 150 pages and I just realized that I would literally do anything else. Because with Gaiman, I'm rarely interested in standalones. So with Gaiman, it's very specific whether I'm going to like it or not. For example, Graveyard Book has a very interesting and enjoyable premise, so I like it. Norse Mythology is also an example of Gaiman that I like because it's something that I'm interested in, but Anansi Boys just had such a stupid premise and a not good writing style that I couldn't. And the final one is the one that's the most controversial. We read Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, which is Mistborn 1. I DNF'd it at... 450 pages ish the other that I was reading it with didn't have to like 120 and I was so angry when I realized I was trying to finish it because we had a deadline I was so angry when they told me that they didn't even try to finish it because I had suffered for so long and I was basically just flipping through the pages trying to take in anything because it was painful and I didn't even want to make myself finish it uh, one of those two that I was reading with actually read it before, so he knew the ending. He told us the ending, and I was like, thank God I didn't read that because I would have just thrown it out the window. But yeah, about Mistborn, I don't like Sanderson's writing style, I don't like his magic systems, and to top it all off, a lot of things didn't make sense, like, at all, and 
I didn't even like one of the characters. So basically none of the boxes were checked for me and I couldn't believe I even read those 450 pages. I would have been very angry <laughs> if I was forced to read the rest of it, but when they told me they DNF'd it, I happily stopped reading, so yeah, just no. <laughs> but I mean, this is my channel. Are you even surprised? You probably already know that I don't like Sanderson. Hopefully this clip will be a lot shorter. <laughs> the next book that I was totally and completely disappointed by was actually Ahsoka by E.K. Johnston. I think that's the author. It's the only Star Wars book ever that I've read that I gave like three stars, I want to say. I absolutely hated it. <laughs> Master and Apprentice was also a Disney Star Wars book. It had elements that sucked, but at least it was, they nailed the characters. Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon were actually characters that you love and they didn't mess them up. But Ahsoka was so different and boring to read from, which was weird because I actually love Ahsoka and Clone Wars. But it was so boring to read from her perspective and the events of the book were so incredibly dull that I hated it. The only scene that I liked were, was where she heals the crystals and get her gets her lightsabers. But aside from that, it was crap. Do not recommend. Don't even pick up anything that Disney has put out because honestly, fuck Disney Star Wars and I'm just here being very angry about it because <laughs> my anger for them just keeps accumulating every time they do something. So absolutely skip Ahsoka if you read Star Wars books. It was not worth it. And the next one was, I mean, honestly, all of Narnia. I got rid of that book now, all of Narnia, but specifically The Last Battle. I had sticky notes like in front of every <laughs> book in the compendium. The sticky note in front of Last Battle just said, fuck you. I hated every single word in that book, every single page, absolutely despised it, traumatized me, and I'm very happy that I'm going to forget that those books ever existed. So yes, probably, maybe, now that I'm looking at the list, maybe the worst book that I read this year, Last Battle, absolutely hated it. It was dreadful, terrible. I have no words to describe it. I don't want to get into the plot, but I mean... I think that guy truly decided to become a writer, not a theologian, when he should have been the other thing. <laughs> Ooh, I just get angry thinking about that book. But yeah, worst book I read this year now that I'm looking at the list, The Last Battle by C.S. Lewis. It can just burn in hell and I'm gonna forget that I ever read it. The next one that we have is Avatar. I was reading the Avatar comics throughout this year. I'm not sure. I think I got, I even read the when they stopped doing the art style, I even read the one where they changed the art style. It's a lot uglier, but I think I read that one too. I hated The Rift. <laughs> absolutely hated it. I think I gave the last volume in The Rift like one star. So yeah, I absolutely hated that. When I was going through good reads and what I'd given one or two stars, that came up. I remember hating it so much because when there's an issue, I mean, that could be just a personal thing, clearly, my preference. When there's an issue of like modernization and technology versus like customs and magic and traditions of a peaceful people I am never gonna be on board for mechanization and modernism which was essentially like Toph versus Aang and their <laughs> views I was absolutely on Aang's side and Toph won out. So yeah, I was not satisfied with that even a little bit. I hated that. <laughs> but that was just a preference thing. So definitely I would not recommend that one. But I, I personally, I absolutely hated The Rift. And the next book was Tehanu by Ursula K. Le Guin. Which was frankly an insult to storytelling. <laughs> because for me, her Earthsea trilogy, the first one was absolutely phenomenal. How she created the world and Jed as a character and everything was perfection and I adored it. But what she did in Tehanu was take all that was good, throw it out the window and start writing a feminist manifesto angrily. So I did not appreciate that even a little bit. <laughs> she destroyed everything that was good about the series and then wrote an essay. 
in the form of a book that people actually loved. So I absolutely agree she should have just left it alone and written essays separately. So to Han it was not necessary. It was gross and barely readable. I hated it. I am probably going to read the rest of her books in that series at least at some point because I want to see if she stopped doing the feminist manifestos but I read Goodreads and I don't think so. So yeah, Tehanu absolutely disappointed me because Afar This Shore was absolutely the best. You're gonna see it in the other list for favorites of the year. So absolute disappointment. Just don't move past the original Earthsea trilogy if you're gonna read Ursula's fantasy. So that's my best advice that I can give you. Now these two, next, the last two books, one of them I absolutely hated. Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima. I have a vlog for that. I despised that book. Absolutely hated it. I think I gave it one star, maybe two. I um, could be mistaken, but I hated how that book was constructed. All the tropes were terrible. None of the characters were likable. Nothing made sense. Some of the tropes weren't even like topically correct it was weird that children are running a gang I mean if you want my thoughts watch the vlog where I read it it was recently I think like September or October I absolutely despised that book and sometimes not always because I'm not the type of person that's like if I hated a book I can see why other people would like it I normally don't actually see why someone else would like it for this I can't see why anyone would like it ever Nothing was appealing about this book. Absolutely nothing. I can't believe I actually finished it. <laughs> I feel like I read nothing and I remember nothing but the bad stuff, but I remember everything being bad. I didn't enjoy a single sentence of that book or a single page or a single plot point. So <laughs> Demon King absolutely hated that. And I'm so sorry that I actually made myself finish it considering I didn't pay that much for it. <laughs> and now that we're on the hate train, let's move on to the last one, which is going to be City of Brass by S.A. Chopper Bordy. I wouldn't say I hated it, but it was bad for me. Again, not none of this is objective. This is all subjective, but it was very hard to get into. Extremely hard to get into because if your entire plot and my understanding of it hinges upon the fact that I have to read the dictionary in the back, you're not gonna get me interested, not even a little bit. <laughs> no, no. So at some point she got me a little bit, so it was like an interesting concept. Then I smelled a romance, which was so bad I wanted to leave immediately. Mm -hmm. Then I wanted to see the rest of the plot, but it too was kind of bad. So I was like, let's just go. Then the ending was mildly entertaining but not nearly enough for me to actually get the second book. Even if it's better, you can tell me that it is. But nothing will make me ever get into that world again. I hated the experience. I hated how much time I spent on it because only like 10%, let's be generous, of it was actually interesting to me. Maybe if there was no awkward romance thrown in, I know it's YA, but I didn't think I'm in the mood for YA anymore. If there was no romance, I could have probably gotten past the awkward beginning because the ending was sort of dynamic. But yeah, I don't think anything can make me <laughs> read more of this series. So that's the last book and I am prepared for the hate because I know it's very popular right now. That concludes this very, very chaotic video that I hope you enjoyed. And please do let me know if some of these are your favorites and if you weren't too insulted. Or if you actually agree but you love it for some other reason. Just talk about it. I love talking on these videos. I think I always comment when I watch one. And yeah, I hope you found some enjoyment out of this because I definitely loved recording it and I'll see you in my favorites video until next time.